words. They don't just communicate thoughts. They reveal the hidden things in our hearts. They don't just communicate ideas. They create worlds. The mouth and the words we say are a creative force that is not only used all the time, but everywhere we go. Our words are the very essence of how the Creator made us. Join us as we discover the essence of man and the power of speech. Hello, welcome to day 24 of The Essence of Man and the Power of Speech. And um, so today I want to talk about um, pretty much how words affect our lives. Uh, And we've talked about some of this, but I want to give you another different perspective, maybe in a real life scenario, we'll say. Um, You know, the words that we speak not only pass through the heavens uh they're not only words that um, penetrate the atmosphere but what they end up doing and i want you to look at it this way uh, your words change the course of the direction of people's lives um for instance the words that you speak, if they're if they're lashan horror or negative, uh, they can alter the course of how people think. Uh, let me give you an example. Let's say that your family lives in a neighborhood, and it's easy walking distance to all the stores. And let's say that. Uh, you're constantly complaining about how bad the neighborhood is. We use words like concrete jungle, or we use words like um, uh, just just something negative about the, the area, the community. And uh, we've all been guilty of this. What we're doing is we're setting the course for those who listen to adapt that philosophy. Um, If you look at what's going on in America today, there's a lot of negative talk about America. Uh, What used to be considered uh, things that are patriotic or things that were American uh, are slowly deteriorating. Uh, You look at certain statues and monuments And so as time goes by, as people start developing a negative thought to those things, then what begins to happen is people begin to adapt that thought. We're changing the course. You know, this is why it's so important to to speak truth and to fight for truth. It's the negative comments, the... the, um, well, the Sean horror of it all, to be honest with you, is is what causes our course, not only as individuals, but as companies, as businesses, as families, as churches, uh, as a country. It's what causes us to change course. And then what begins to happen is, over time, is... That which used to be evil is no longer evil, it's good. And that which used to be good is no longer good, it's evil. You start calling good evil and evil things good as as things begin to to gravitate towards a different course of action. And so while negative comments about, um, say, your neighborhood or whatever, congestion or, you know, whatever the problem is you see with it... uh, even though it sounds like it's unrelated to LaShawn Hora, it actually is related to Sean Hora because anything that we're doing to cast negative light on people, 
on things is is causing Lashawn Hoare. It's causing evil speech. Um, now th- let me let me say something. It's one thing to speak negative, but it's another thing to confront. And we're going to get into this. When it when is quote unquote Lashawn Hoare permissible? When when do you have the right to call something out? And we'll get into that. But that's why it's so important you defend things, find the best in things, and not speak negative about things. Uh, find the positive and defend what's right. Uh, but do it in love. Speak truth in love, the Bible says. And so when we start looking at, at LaShawn Horror from this point of view, uh, we can see how just speaking negative can literally alter the course of nations. You know, nothing changes overnight. Matter of fact, James talks about uh, how, how the tongue is like the rudder of a ship. That's a big ship. And, and you got this rudder, a little small rudder, but it turns this big ship, you know, this big old boat. And what happens is, is that just a little turn of a rudder causes this big boat to change course. Okay? And and so nothing changes course overnight. Nothing changes course immediately. Especially when you're talking about a big ship or a big boat, you know, some kind of big cruiser. Uh, those things don't turn on a dime. And your words are like that. They change the course of nature. And they don't do it overnight. It's very subtle. And and it, and it, and it takes a gradual change. And before you know it, you're going in the wrong direction because of the negative words that are spoken. Your community is going in the wrong direction. Your business is going in the wrong direction. Your marriages, your children, uh, your relationships, your, 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 your churches, your, your country is going in the wrong direction. When we have media that constantly points out negative things and doesn't even tell truth, LaShawn Hora. Uh, you know, uh, this is where it change. It starts changing, and now you got people that are divided. Okay, and so what we see here is is that your words alter the course uh, of humanity. They're not just words that are floating. We we we've talked about this. How words get into the atmosphere. We've talked about how they go before heaven. We've talked about how they go before God, but now we see it from a different point of view, maybe, uh, that they alter courses, courses of direction. And so I challenge you today to, to let your words defend truth, uh, let your words promote truth, let your words uh, not be negative, but be positive and defending. Don't always think about the negative of somebody. Think about the positive of somebody. If somebody comes up with somebody about, you know, first of all, if they come up to you, start talking about somebody, don't even list it. But if they start talking to you and, and, and you know, it, it, they start pointing out the negative, change their course of talk by finding the positive. That's the way you shut it off. And I find lots of times when you start talking about the positive, when somebody wants to talk about the negative, they quit talking. Because a lot of people just like talking about negative things. Period. So, here's the goal for today. Don't change the course in the wrong direction. Keep it going in the right direction. If it is going the wrong direction, then change the course. But whatever you do, find the good, accentuate the positive, 
disregard the negative and defend the truth and promote the truth that accentuates the goodness of things in our life and especially the things of God. Amen? Hey, thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you next time on The Essence of Man and The Power of Speech.